is a boat show walkthrough review of the 2022 Cruisers Yachts 42 GLS. This boat comes in two different versions, inboard and outboard. We'll do the inboard version first and then later on we'll look at the outboard version. The category for this boat would be an entertainment boat and or weekender and day boat. This is an amazing looking boat. The upholstery, the attention to detail is absolutely amazing. This is called the South Beach Special Edition. It has great stitching, beautiful colors in it, a really lovely looking boat. You can really tell the design was very thought out. There's cup holders everywhere, armrests. The front of it converts into a sun pad. I wish they would have had pop-up cleats though right there. Uh, there's your speakers and a uh, single person walk through with the glass. Um, they had it propped up with uh, some fenders. Uh, you'll see a nice galley with some swivel bar stools. Underneath the uh, helm seating, you'll see a ice maker. There's cup holders all around. Uh, as we approach, the more of the very well appointed leather work all through the boat. Um, there's your uh, controls. This boat has Simrad electronics with uh, joystick piloting. You'll see uh, the functions here, the buttons, but they're a little bit low. It'd be nice if they were up higher where you could see them and not have to duck down to see them. Um, there's your uh, joystick controller, controls the whole boat with one joystick your trim tabs and your power. Just right there is a charging pad for your phone or smartphone. As we head down to the lower salon, you'll see uh, some stairs here and there's a television. I don't know if that's a good place to put a TV because I, I think people would knock into it. We have a U-shaped berth. Um, the headroom doesn't look very good there. The cushion comes out in the center and can be used as a table. And the uh, head area, it's actually a wet head. So I would think for this kind of money, you would get a separate shower, but there's a shower in the uh, transom. Everything is very well designed in here. The only thing about these stairs, I would like to see a handrail or something. And there's a microwave right there as well. Not a good place to put the microwave oven. Um, a handrail would be good. And uh, underneath you got a berth uh, or storage area and uh, looks like another refrigerator. A motorized sunroof is really nice. Um, as you go through, there's lights everywhere up on top, LED lighting. The uh, galley has got refrigerator storage. You have a grill and a really well-designed uh, sink. The uh, hardware is just amazing. This is like a boat James Bond would drive. Uh, you have a U-shaped uh, table there that expands um, and then you have seating in the back. This boat is made for entertainment. You could get a lot of people on this boat. I'd have to look and see what the maximum capacity is but you could easily have 10 people on here comfortably, no problem. The uh, swim platform is motorized. It goes down and has integrated steps. Towards the aft of the boat, you have beach doors that flip down. You can see the cut lines in the back there, so it gives you way more uh, uh, swim platform area. Here's the motorized version where the swim platform actually goes down into the water and the steps are integrated and there are the beach doors on the side. Twin Mercury 8.6 liter 524 horsepower racing engines or Mercury 430 horsepower engines, uh, 8.2 liter, very powerful boat. The back area is just a great place to hang out and have your parties.
This is the outboard version of the Cruiser 42 GLS. It has three 400 horsepower outboard engines, almost the same dimensions as the inboard version. There is the uh, beach doors that are motorized and they flip down to give you a lot more space for your uh, activities um, in the back of the boat. There's a integrated swim ladder on the starboard side for getting in and out. Uh, there's a shower in the rear and tons of storage for your gear. This is a good place to hang out and shower off. There's an integrated bimini top that's motorized if you want to get more shade. There's a great place. The cockpit has lots of room, lots of space. You have a refrigerator there. There's an ice maker under there. You have plenty of storage, uh, sink countertop, and you can put a grill uh, option for there in the sink. The hardware that they picked is just very, very uh, high-end, uh, very beautiful looking boat. Like I said, there's cup holders everywhere, uh, Simrad electronics for uh, navigation and control, uh, joystick control um, for piloting, you have a bolster, your steering wheel has uh, tilt functions. There is a wireless charging pad for your smartphone. The sunroof uh, is motorized, very easy to operate and open to get more sun. The uh, open of this walkthrough, I'm not sure how that stays. I'm sure you have to keep it closed while you're moving. Um, the front, you can put a table up there or make it into one big sun pad. Of, uh, stereo controls up front, armrest, windless anchor, uh, table with integrated cup holders, uh, the slider uh, to go down to the main salon. Uh, there's the different configurations you can have for the V-berth, your uh, microwave, a porthole. You can uh, put, move the TV from down there to upstairs um, on the main deck. Uh, Bluetooth stereo controls, the V-berth. It doesn't really have a whole lot of headroom, it looks like. Uh, then the, uh, the wet head, it, it would be nice if it had a separate shower, but just a gorgeous looking boat. These run used about 900000 to a little over a million dollars for a well-appointed cruiser yacht. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share.